Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. I'm doing what I always do and that is the folding laundry. <laughs> but cannot imagine that I'm enjoying this so much now because what happened is last week when I was doing laundry, all of a sudden my dryer stopped working. So I was like, okay, now it's like one after another, right? Because before free stopped working and now the dryer. So I was like, okay, now we had to call the technician. So nowadays, you know, because of all, all these things going on, technician wasn't even available for a week. So then we went to Lowe's to see if we can get the new one because my husband is like, if it's gonna cost us so much to fix this one, it's better to just get the new one. So when we went there, they say delivery is not even available until June. So we were like, okay, you know, we'll just wait until technician come and see what he say. So he was here this morning and um, luckily the belt inside was broken, so he fixed it. So finally now I can do my laundry properly <laughs> because before I dry clothes outside, right? Because I didn't, I, I mean, I don't have any other choice. So then my sitting area was filled with the clothes as well as the guest room. And I'm okay with the guest room, you know, because no one used that room. But then um, finally he came this morning and he fixed it. And today is one of those days that it's like one after another thing uh, because Raj had a orientation, the university orientation this morning. So parents were allowed, so I was with him. So that was for two hours. And then middle of that, the technician came. So of course, when he's here, you know, I had to be available down there just in case if he has any questions or all that. So before coming, he told me that make sure you sanitize the machine and after I leave, you sanitize too. And of course, I was like, you don't need to tell me that. As soon as you leave, I am gonna sanitize everything. So I sanitize that. Also the railing, uh, you know, when we come upstairs, we have a railing on the side. So I cleaned that as well as all the doorknobs. And he was wearing that shield. Of course, he was wearing masks, gloves and all that. but still you know i didn't want all that and also when he came i opened all the window up here uh, in the bedrooms as well as downstairs i opened the door all the windows were open um so nowadays you know it's not fun and i mean see in this case i didn't have any other choice otherwise i, I don't want anyone to come to my house uh, especially the stranger you know if i know that person it's different but still you have to be I mean, you have to be careful about it, but still. And uh, this guy, he comes, uh, he's the one who came to fix the freeze. And he told me also, you know, that um, these are the problem. And he's really good with it. You know, I mean, uh, I asked him, I was like, how many years left for this dryer? Because I don't want to spend the money. And then within a few months, if it's going to go, uh, then I just rather get the new one. And he's like, no, no, you know, you still have a few more years to go with it. It's like, don't spend your money. So he's he's very honest uh, with the, his work. So that's why I really like him. And uh, so that is done. Raj uh, orientation went really well. Now we just had to fill so many forms. And that is another thing. <laughs> so I told him, I was like, just go ahead and print everything. Probably tonight we'll go ahead and sit and we'll get it over with it. And also many of you ask me if I can do the video about the education system here and how my kids are doing it. Um, so if you have any question related to that, leave the comments below any specific question you have because I'm planning to do that video most probably next week. So, you know, if you have any questions, let me know so I can answer at that time. And as most of you know, both are in high school. Raj is in 10th grade, Ra Aryan is in 9th grade. Uh, they both are taking AP classes. Raj will be going to the university. Um, so, you know, I think at this stage now, I know exactly. Um, and I can, I can, you know, like I can share my experience with you guys, like what we have done it and how the things that is working and things didn't work and all that. So if you have any related question, just leave the comments below and I will make sure that I, I answer that. I'm just gonna finish the laundry, needs to go downstairs and probably I'll go for a walk because weather is nice. 
um, I mean it's a little bit windy it's not cold so probably I'll just go outside and make maybe go for a couple of rounds just need that fresh air <laughs> so maybe I'll go for a walk and So many of you asked me about this nightdress which I was wearing in my few videos back. So this nightdress is from Tommy Hilfiger and uh, I had this from very long time actually but it is super soft and the only thing is it get wrinkled. So what I usually do is I, um, you know, usually like home clothes I don't iron it but especially this kind of one like it's got wrinkled so much right. So then I just do the steam iron and uh, like just here and there, you know, not like properly, but uh, I do steam iron so that way it looks decent basically, <laughs> but it is super soft and someone actually asked me also that which brand do I recommend for the night dress. Then of course, Tommy is good, Nautica is really nice also, and this Soma, um, just, they have really good collection of night dress. So you can check into that but as i mentioned this one i had it from very long time and it's it's so comfortable you know it's very nice so this is how i steam this and as i mentioned i don't go too much in a detail somewhere it looks decent that's enough for me and uh, this steamer i got it from amazon it is from company Euro power and uh, if you're traveling this is a perfect size because as you can see it's so compact and the reason I got it is because, you know, Raj will be going to college in a couple of years. So I thought instead of giving him iron, this is perfect because it's small, doesn't take that much room. Um, and, you know, it's quick also. Instead of uh, doing proper ironing, if you just want to, like, get it over with it in a few minutes, this is perfect. So finally, laundry is done. Now, let's take care of kitchen now. <laughs> You know, it feels so fresh to go out and get some fresh air because especially day like this today, it's so perfect. It's not windy, it's not cold, it's not sunny at all. So it's one of those perfect day. So we walk for, I would say, about one and a half hours. So it's almost 3.30 now. So I thought I'll just go ahead and start making dinner because now my husband comes around 5 o'clock. So today actually once he comes home we might have to go somewhere so i thought i'll just go ahead and hurry up and start making dinner so for dinner tonight i'm making this guar dhokli sabji i must have shared this recipe before but today the way i'm making it is going to be a little bit different so this one is the frozen one i always keep this on hand whenever i can find fresh i buy it if not this is lifesaver um so before i used to mix all the masalas and make it in a pressure cooker today the way i'm making it is i'm gonna first pressure cook just this gavar so that's what i'm doing here and uh dokli i'm gonna make it different too so that's what we're gonna have for dinner and of course roti and all that and yesterday i made mexican pizza from uh, tortilla it came out so good guys you know because kids who doesn't like taco bell right we all like it so they were just craving for taco bell and we had the tortilla so i thought let me try it and see how it's gonna come out but it's just exactly like taco bell came out so good uh, i was gonna share that recipe with you guys but i'm out of uh, taco bell sauce so next time when i go to walmart i'm gonna buy it and i'll share that recipe with you um and yes, I need your guys' help. Okay, tell me about this pressure cooker, guys. I bought this when I went to India. It is from Prestige. When I saw it, I love it. And I think when I bought it, it was like a new style. Um, I believe it's called like a lock, new lock system pressure cooker, something like that. But I really like it, you know, because of course, first of all, the shape is nice. It's so small. It's perfect for four of us. So when I used this very first time, um, things got stuck in there, even though I had enough water and all that. 
and the whistle didn't even work at all. So then I was like, okay, I must have done something wrong. So then I went and tried one more time, same thing happened. So if you have any experience with this kind of pressure cooker, please help me guys, because I really want to use this pressure cooker, but I cannot because I always worried about things going to things gonna get stuck down there. Um, so as you see, um, you know, you just twist this and the lock on the both side, it gets opened up. And uh, once you twist this this way, then the lock on the both side closed. So as you can see, this is open, this is closed. So let me know guys, let me know if you have any experience with this kind of pressure cooker. I really like it, but again, I'm so scared to use this now. <laughs> So now while the guar is in pressure cooker, we'll go ahead and make the dokli first. So for that here I have a regular atta. This is the chapati atta. And I'm also going to take some basin. Now the ratio for this two should be either half and half. If not, you can take a little bit less basin and more chapati atta. So I do have about uh, less than a half a cup roti atta. And then in there I'm going to add uh, basin. So that's what I have. So into that adding salt to taste. Also a little bit of uh, hing, asa patita, haldi powder, red chili powder. And I'm not adding any ajwain uh, because no one liked that taste in my house. So that's the reason I'm not adding it. But if you like that taste, you can add it at this point. And I'm also going to add a little bit oil. And first of all, I'm going to go ahead and mix everything. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add the water. And this atta should be like a paratha atta consistency. So it's not like chapati one because, you know, chapati roti atta is very soft. So not that soft. So I'm going to add the water just a little bit at a one time and just make the dough out of it. So here atta is done and I'm going to let this rest for about five minutes. You know, when we were doing that university orientation and it was online, it was virtual, it's not like we had to go anywhere, but it felt like we just had his kindergarten orientation and now we are doing his university orientation. I'm telling you guys, time fly by so quickly. So only advice or suggestion whatever you want to call i would give is if you have a young kids enjoy the time with them because once they are in middle school and high school basically they are by their own you know they are not depend on you as much as they are depend on you when they were in elementary school and i know if you have a young kid sometimes it just get overwhelmed sometimes you think like when are they gonna get old enough to do everything by themselves but uh, believe me guys you will miss that time <laughs> so now the dough is ready and we'll go ahead and make the dokli so you do want to take like just a little bit like this and uh, then we'll go ahead and flatten that so then you can take a little bit and uh, press it between your palm and then you do want to make sure that it's not too thin, not too thick also. So that's it. This is how it looks like. Pressure. So here Gowar is pressure cooked properly. I'm going to strain this water and I'm also going to save this water. And uh, here all the tokli is ready too. So now here in this cooker, I'm going to first uh, add some oil. And once the oil is hot enough, I'm going to add some mustard seeds. And again, if you eat a joint, you can add it at this point. Adding some asa patita. Here I have ginger, garlic and green chili, which I crush it. So that's what I'm going to add here. 
here I'm adding this water which I saved when I pressure cooked the guar. And now I'm gonna add all the masala in here. So first of all, holy powder, red chili powder, and the niajira powder. And I'm gonna let this boil for about five minutes or so. And then I'm gonna add the dokli because at this point, guar is already pressure cooked, so we don't need to cook that. But we still need to cook the dokli and dokli will not take more than 10 minutes to cook. So once it's come to boil a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and add the dokli in here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the dokli. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cover this, but of course we don't wanna close it all the way. So now at this point, dokli is cooked properly. I'm gonna go ahead and add the guar in here. And the consistency of this, it's up to you. If you want like uh, on the thinner side, you can just go ahead and add water and it should be good. But I think I'm okay with this. So at this point, I'm also gonna add salt to taste because we haven't added salt at all. So that's it, our guar dokli sabji is done. And look at this guys, it's not even five o'clock. Sabji is ready, as well as I made the roti. So roti and sabji, it's all done. My husband should be coming home any minute. And uh, that's it, I'm gonna go ahead and serve the dinner now. You must try this sabji recipe guys it came out so good and i think i would prefer making this way instead of how i used to make it before but believe me it came out so good so this is it friends i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video we are done with the dinner i just need to clean a little bit and that's it so thank you so much for watching take care and i will see you soon in my next video bye